Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be crossing something off of my bucket list. I have always wanted to go to one of those world's largest garage sales. Well, we found out just two hours away from us on Highway 64 in Arkansas, there was going to be 180 miles of garage sales. So me and my husband packed up. We left at 4.30 in the morning to spend the day garage selling and I'm going to take y'all along with me. Let's go shopping. There's a whole table of nautical stuff. I love this coral. Let's see how much that is. Oh, I had a whale one like this in Whalen's room. have enough of these you can put some wood right here and turn it into a tree but I have a few of them that I haven't done yet so I don't think I'm gonna pick up anymore it's a big urn. doesn't look like these people are set up but I'm gonna browse because I see a whole table full of brass all right, I don't see anything I have to have, which is good, because I guess I can't buy anything anyway. It's 7.30, almost 8 o'clock. I feel like people should be set up already. But, all right, we're off to the next one. It's a wooden horse. Cool. I know. Hey. Is this a real antique? It's a 1920s cool I love it. Turn it around so I can see the other side. I see something red on the other side. Here's an old crate that says high explosive dangerous. <laughs> I love this. Dynamite. Dynamite box. Alright, we just pulled over on the side of the road and it looks like there's quite a few sales here. So hopefully we can find some goodies. It's been kind of a dud so far. So I'm excited to find some good stuff. see anything so far. You find an old barn or farmhouse. I've seen a lot of farms in this area. Oh, that's kind of cute. Lots of clothes. <laughs> Things and lots and lots of clothes. I like this blanket. Look how chunky it is. It's huge though. Beautiful texture. Okay, I see some rusty stuff. This could be an exciting sale. Ooh, look at this balance. has a top you could put it over a window and use it as a shelf these are interesting Let's see what the price is on these hundred dollars each so the only thing I ended up getting at all those sales was this beautiful textured blanket some Santa mugs I don't know what that stamp means there's two of them they're beautiful. Ooh. These are pretty. All right, I actually found a few things at that sale. I just loved the tarnished age patina on these two pieces. And then I found uh, four of these. They kind of look like milk glass, but I'm not sure. Let me get in a shade so y'all can see. And they have the little labels on them. I just thought those were really pretty. And I didn't look these up, but I just took a chance on them because they look like something. So if you know anything about these two Santa cups, definitely leave me a comment. I like these metal baskets. Look at these chicken feeders. I don't know what the price is on them. But look at this one. Rusty stuff. Here's a bunch of Christmas stuff. Ooh. I like this. It's very heavy. This is made in Taiwan. I 
probably get a price on this. Yeah. Oh, this is adorable. It's all cross stitch. That is so cute. Okay, we'll get a price on this stuff. Y'all see anything else? Let's check over here. These are interesting. They're vintage. I feel like paper mache. I don't know. I kind of like the look of them. It's a Santa. It's not vintage looking enough. I'm trying to pick up very unique Christmas stuff. Here's some Avon but I don't see the little figurines that I love to pick up. This is what I got at that last sale. I spent $15 and I think I got a pretty good deal because I feel like $15 just for one of these baskets is a good price. I just couldn't pass this up. I love this so much. And I just got these because I feel like if somebody's doing a vintage Christmas, they would absolutely love these horses. I really liked this glass tree. I hope I can find some more like this. I think a set of three of these would be beautiful. And this cute little pillow. Is this not the most precious thing you've ever seen? It does have a little bit of dirt right here, but it's a pillow cover. So I think I can take it off and get it clean. Look how adorable that is. I love this so much. So now we are off to the next sale. The sign said this was a flea market. So we can go in here real quick quick and check it out look it's an old gymnasium how cool is that these floors hopefully we can find some stuff in here here's the bleachers see a lot of baskets over there there's a little marble table but the feet are not original I mean you could paint the bottom of it it's only seven dollars it's a very good price Toys. We'll look at those shelves in a minute. It's a big stuffed chicken. Oh, I like this long basket. How cute is this little part? Looks like it's made out of a vintage quilt. It's a little egg. Let's see. This one's two dollars. I just talked to the lady and she said this used to be a flea market and now they're trying to clear it out and they may turn this into an event center. That would be really cool. I would like to help them clear some stuff out, but I'm not really seeing too much that I want. Some dry floral, but that might be a little too dried out for me. big trunk I just have nowhere for it at my house I did get this little accordion rack Look how cool this one is and this little copper and brass piece it says Applejack and Peel really cute we stopped at a little antique mall it is called rusty gold antiques so it's air conditioned feels good in here so we're gonna check this place out for a minute I love these. I don't know what the price is. Oh, here we go. Five dollars a pack. Those are really cute. I wouldn't even stick that in a candle holder. I'd just put them out like that. Oh, look at this basket. Wow. Seventy-nine dollars. 
amazing. This is what I want to find when I'm out garage sailing and estate sailing. All this stuff. But that's why the prices are high at these places because the amount of time that it takes to find these pieces, that is what you're paying for. They have already done all the work for you. You just have to come in here in the air conditioner and just shop and pick out what you want. These architectural pieces are $35 each. Those are very interesting. That would definitely add some character to a porch. I love that. Look at this bench like a basket and a stool it is $25 where do I need this in the house there's some cute little houses that they've made out of old windows not sure exactly what you use them for looks like they just put decor in them you'd have to have a pretty big space for that but I like it baskets you know I love the baskets I actually like everything in this booth. These are probably old columns that they've cut up and turned them into some flower holders. Let's see what they sell on the floor. $14. It's not too bad. Oh wow, look at these windows. $175. Those are beautiful. have some really really nice stuff at this antique mall so if you happen to be in Conway Arkansas I would highly recommend stopping here all right I'm gonna put a little video overlay of everything that I ended up purchasing from the 180 miles of garage sales now keep in mind we did not do the whole thing but we were gone from 4 30 in the morning till six o'clock at night and this is all that we ended up purchasing to say i was disappointed is an understatement i was so excited about this it is it is something that i have wanted to do for years it's been on my bucket list for years and it also is my job i really wanted to go there and I wanted to fill up the truck with all these amazing finds. I wanted to film all kind of amazing content for you guys. And it just was not what I expected. So I can definitely say I have crossed that off my bucket list. Been there, done that. Don't feel like I need to do it again. So y'all let me know if y'all have ever been to a sale like this. Was it amazing? Were you disappointed like me? I just feel like my time is better spent going to estate sales. I have a very good luck over there and sometimes can fill up my entire car just at one estate sale. And speaking of estate sales, that is where we're gonna go next because I'm gonna show y'all where I got these chairs behind me. If you have watched my renovation video of when I actually updated this breakfast nook you know my original plan was to have a set of matching chairs right here and i have been on the hunt for these chairs for over a year i finally found them out of the state sale so let's go shopping today is the last day of the sale and everything is 50 percent off they haven't opened the doors yet i see a line but it's supposed to open at 10 so good news is i am one of the first ones here let's go shopping all right guys i'm starting off upstairs because there was nobody up here and it's a little bit easier to film. It looks like the prices are pretty good. This is an estate sale company that I really like and have gotten to know. And so I do try to hit their sales. I know that the prices are really good. Um, just a variety of stuff here. Nothing has really caught my eye yet. This little old camping pot little brass piece but that's a little bit too small for me i have seen lots of art throughout the house this one's twenty dollars might look through this stack see if there's anything that catches my eye that's cute 
I'll look through that. I just purchased these chairs. This is exactly what I have been looking for in the breakfast nook. I think they are going to be absolutely perfect. Check out this piece. I have no clue what this is. I guess it's like a serving thing. $75. It's very big. This piece is pretty. And they have these brass French horn candle holders right here. They are very, very heavy. Here's the kitchen. It's all the items that I love. Ooh, some salt and pepper shakers. I have no clue what the price is on that, but I'm gonna grab these. These are very hard to come by, a set of them. Ooh, some cookie cutters. Um, I don't think those are old and aged enough for me. Oh, I love these. They're missing the handle, some of them, though. Doesn't look like there's too much old stuff in here. Oh, look at the wood on these. That is beautiful. They almost look handmade. If you have a white kitchen, these will look amazing. So I'm going to get these two right here. Five dollars for all of this. These are little measuring spoons that I love. These are perfect just to add on little cooks in your kitchen. But these, um, it looks like there might be two sets of them in here, so that might be worth getting this. Oh, here's some cloches. Here's the haul. Let me show you everything that I ended up purchasing from that estate sale. I thought this piece was so pretty and so unique. I don't know if you can see on video, but it's three or four layers of glass and each glass has something different painted on it to make this kind of 3D looking piece. I thought it was very beautiful and very unique, so I grabbed that. I got this cute little stool. I do not come across these very often for a decent price, so I thought $5 was a good deal. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue down any of the loose strings that are here and cut off anything that is hanging just to make it look better. Nobody's gonna be sitting on here. It's gonna be a purely decorative piece, so I'm just gonna make sure it looks good. Then I found some little Christmas trees. You can never have a enough little Christmas greenery. So I grabbed two boxes of those. I got the salt and pepper shakers that I think I showed y'all. Y'all, I got this. I don't know if y'all follow Teresa at Our Green Acre. She's on Facebook and YouTube, but she's been remodeling a dollhouse. So anytime I find cute dollhouse pieces, I pick them up for her. So this is a little bassinet with a little baby girl and she has one daughter so i thought this was perfect so i'm gonna send that off to her i got these brushes i love just having these sitting out on the dresser and you stick a picture in there it's really really cute or you could turn it this way and put like an iod mode or transfer or something um i just think they're really cute i know they're shoe shine brushes but I think they make really cute decor. I got the two French horn brass candlesticks. These are super, super heavy. So when I am looking for brass, I'm definitely looking for good quality, heavy brass. I thought this piece was very dainty and pretty. It's two swans, like a little trinket dish. I just thought they were so pretty. They're brass. I love those. Got this little box of stuff because I wanted the little teaspoons in here. So they actually have, looks like they have a few sets of them. I didn't open it up and look, but that was a pretty good deal. I love these just hanging on a hook in a kitchen. So it looks like I got three or four of them. So that's good. Y'all, how real does this bagel look? So I got just, just to put out on the table and try to trick the kids. I thought that would be funny. I got this little silver plated dish. It comes with a frog in it. So you put flower, flowers in it and candles. And I thought it had some really pretty detail on it. So grab that. This is brass as well and very, very pretty. I don't think I've come across a piece like this before. It says made in Italy, 
and it is just beautiful. I don't think this piece is brass, but I just loved all the details on this picture frame. I also think it will look great against a white background because you could see through it. I just thought this was really pretty. And then I got some artwork. <laughs> Y'all know I can't pass up some good artwork. So I got all of these prints. They're from the Remington collection and they are so pretty and they are printed on some very, very nice paper. So I think I'm going to do like some collections and sell them as sets. Like I think these two look beautiful together. They have some really great prints here. Look how pretty that is. I always get so excited when I find great artwork. So if you have like a hunting camp and you know, you want to decorate it really cute, this is some beautiful, beautiful artwork. If you are interested in any of these items, I post items on my website the first Wednesday of every month. So y'all be looking out for the September 7th website sale. So this is currently the breakfast nook. They left this table with the house. So I painted it and put it here. You know, it was free and a placeholder for the time being until I could find what I wanted, but we really don't use this space. So my dream was to find two cozy chairs and to have this as a seating area. So I'm gonna bring the chairs in and see what they look like in this space. This is the breakfast nook area now with the new chairs. Also added some artwork and a little basket to the walls. And do y'all remember the stool from the estate sale? I just kind of hot glued it, fixed it up, put a little book and a picture with some floor right there. And I think it looks so great. I think it ties in perfectly to the rest of the house. So y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, guys, I hope that y'all enjoy today's shopping haul video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my breakfast nook now and if you have not watched the renovation video definitely go check that out i'll leave it linked in the description below i'll show you how to put up all this shiplap and the before is really awful and i love how it ended up coming out and i am so happy that i finally found the chairs for this area that i wanted i can tell you it is everything that i wanted it to be before with the table right here we just didn't use the space and now with these chairs all the time when there are people home someone is sitting and enjoying these chairs so i absolutely love it and y'all leave me a comment below and let me know what is your favorite place to go thrifting is it estate sales is it garage sales is it thrift store for me i think y'all all know i love estate sales i just feel like the majority of the time it has the stuff that i'm looking for and there is a whole house to dig through i mean who doesn't love that so once again i hope you enjoyed today's video i will see y'all next week for a very special diy video actually i think it might be coming out on wednesday instead of thursday so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and the notification bell is hit that way youtube will notify you when i upload my videos y'all have a great day and i will see y'all in the next video